to narrowly pass a ballot measure to help the state. As we notice, this meeting is being held on the 21st of today, uh, March 2024, at 7.34 p.m. has been provided in accordance with Section 3D, Chapter 331 of the Public Laws of 1975. Now we know it's a sunshine law. Please rise for the section. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. New York? Here. Nelson? Here. Keith? Yes. Penny? Here. Lindsay? Here. Mr. Rodman is excused. Mitchka? Here. And here. I have a motion to open for public comment on agenda items only. And make a motion to open public comment for the agenda items. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I can't see it on the agenda, but. Uh, is Dan Wilder for 24 12th and Road? The bills list is that on the agenda? Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. no, it's here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's here. Uh, can, you, can I ask a question now or you want me to ask it? Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Can I, before we move the bills, I guess. Yeah, it's right about the bills. Yeah. You want, you want a list or you have it? So this, uh, can you just explain what the statutory expenditures contribution is for the pension? No, statutory expenditures contributions. So that's our um, well, our pension falls under there. Our, our um, social security payment. Got it. So for personnel. Yes. Yes. Per perfect. Ben personnel benefits. Perfect. Yeah. And the uh, planner from the planning board has gotten paid. Is that part of the bills? It, it that, for that um, answer plan? It, it, yeah, it may or not may or may not be in the bill cycle right now. They submit and the planning board approves their bill and then it goes back to the finance office. So we don't know if, it, if she's been paid yet or not for that? She's being paid um, tonight. Tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so I'm not sure how. I don't, I don't know what Monica has, what bills Monica hasn't um, been put through, but there are still things being borrowed tonight. And, and there's no money left for that ERI grant. Is that correct? The ERI update? Mm -hmm. or is it safe there? In the, I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, okay. And then when after uh, she's paid, does the invoice go immediately to the Highlands Council? No, the project's completed. Ah, okay. Right. Okay, thank you. Motion to close public comment. Make a motion to close. Second. All right. All right. Motion to adopt regular and executive okay. session minutes of February 15th, 2024. Make a motion to adopt the regular and executive session minutes of February 15th, 2024. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to adopt regular and executive session minutes of March 7th, 2024. Make a motion to adopt regular and executive session minutes of March 7th, 2024. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to adopt resolution 2024.39 of the Board of Cleanup Day Services. Make a motion to adopt resolution 2024.39 of Cleanup Day. Second. I'll do a roll call just to be safe since this involves. <coughs> Uh, Keith. Yes. Kenny. Yes. Lindsay. Yes. Nelson. Yes. New York. Yes. Mm -hmm. We went to adopt resolution 2024-40, appointment of Honorable Gerald J. Shamey as municipal court judge. We make a motion to adopt resolution 2024-40, the appointment of our judge. All seven. All favor. Aye. 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 Motion to adopt resolution 2024.41, Green Acres Program, enabling resolution. Make a motion to adopt resolution 2024.41, the enabling resolution. No second. No favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to adopt resolution 2024.42, 2019 tax appeal, block 8, lot 11, tax resolution. We'll make a motion to adopt resolution 2024.42 on the appeal. No second. Can I have a roll call vote? Keith. 
Yes. Kenny? Yeah. Lindsay? Yes. Nelson? Yes. New York? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And I've got a vote to the doctor's salary to the we make a motion to adopt resolution 2024.33, the salary resolution. Second. We'll call for that also. Keith? Oh, I got a quick question. What's changing now from um, Monica? Correct. Mm -hmm. And the um, temporary violations clerk. And the administration help? Um, yeah, Monica's going to be doing that, helping out zoning. Yeah. The changes are higher uh, in both. So she accepted the position. She did, yes. I can't ask what it is now. I mean, that's yeah. what, what is the price? We said we were going to hit her with something. And... Uh, so she's doing hourly, so $19.24 an hour. Yeah. Not to, um, and we're I'm expecting it to be about $8,000 for the year. That's for which one now? For both of them together. Okay. As, as for what we discussed. All right, thank you. Uh, yes, I agree. Kenny? Yes. Lindsay? <clears throat> um, yes. Nelson? Yes. New York? Yes. Thank you. Resolution 2024 authorizing use of competitive contracting for revaluation of services. We have a motion to adopt resolution 2024.44 on the readout. All favor? Aye. 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 Can I have a motion to pay all bills in the amount of $161,704.11? And I make a motion to pay the bills. Second. 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 Now, roll the vote, please. Keith? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Lindsay? Yes. Nelson? Yes. New York? Yes. Thank you. I report to Mr. Engineer, Mr. Decker is excused for this evening, and there's no updates submitted. Uh, our uh, report public safety official, uh, Trooper Counter, sent me a uh, an email reports, I'll just read it briefly. Uh, investigations reports, five reports. Operations, which is general policing, 22 reports. The majority of reports are for medical aid and medical assist. One drunk driving report, uh, eight crash reports. The majority of crashes were on the interstate and a few on county and local roadways. Uh, he would like to remind residents of the importance of vehicle maintenance, vehicle tire checks, and tire inflation, especially with the changing weather for colder or warmer months. A five pound decrease in tire pressure can make a difference in driving characteristics and tire efficiency during the snow and rainy conditions specifically. Uh, scams, no Bethlehem Township residents were victims of scams this month. Uh, share, sharing praise again uh, with us and Mr. Judice, thank you for sharing uh, from the website and social media. Continue to be diligent at ATMs. There's recently been a credit card skimmer crown on an ATM at the pilot station. And uh, they, we continue to work on updates regarding the municipal cyber attack. Uh, there have been other municipalities and departments in contact with the state police as well, and similar occurrences that they're following up on. When you said the pilot, did you mean one over you? I should say it's a not specified, unfortunately, so I will find out. And I think you will, you will be back here probably for our first meeting. Okay. But I do uh, appreciate you for submitting a report, um, despite being unveiled for the current person. Appointments by the Township Committee. Uh, I have a motion to appoint Monica Schley as the Animal Licensing Official with an expiration term December 31st, 2024. Make a motion to adopt Monica um, as appointed for animal licensing. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I have a motion to appoint Monica Schley temporary administration help expiration term December 31st, 2024. And I make a motion to appoint Monica Chalet for the temporary administration. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Now, there's no old business. New business, introduction of Ordinance 491 by 2024 to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and establish a cap back. I have a motion to introduce. Make a motion to introduce Ordinance number 491.2024. No second. A roll call vote for introduction. Keith? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Lindsay? Yes. Nelson? Yes. New York? Yes. Public hearing for 
This ordinance is scheduled for April 18th, 2024, and there will be, of course, a uh, public comment session on that. I have a motion to introduce resolution 2024.45 to introduce the year 2024 budget. I make a motion to introduce resolution 2024.45 on the 2024 budget. A lot of 2024. And I have a second. Second. Now, before I switch up, I just wanted to uh, share, we'll, uh, of course, share more about the budget uh, when we have a public comment session. Uh, but this year's budget represents a 1.33% increase in the base tax rate. Uh, but I do want to share that over the past two years, since 2022, uh, we reduced spending by $500,000 and kept that spending level this year. And then we reduced our debt by $685,000. Obviously, these are round numbers. And increased our municipal reserves by $420,000. Uh, when this committee inherited the budget, we were at 17% of our uh, Operating budget and the reserves, and we're just about 40%. Now, 60% is recommended for complete financial stability. So, we continue to pay down debt uh, while increasing our reserves and keeping spending low. Uh, 420,000. Uh, the budget is being introduced tonight. Uh, it will be, uh, of course, for the public hearing, and then it will be on the website for review as well, so we can prepare if there's any questions for that public hearing. <laughs> so with that, can I have a roll of public interest? Keith? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Lindsay? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know it's an introduction, but I thank Ms. Mooney for all her work on this budget, and thank the rest of the committee. Uh, so we had some very good discussions this year, and setting stage for some future planning. So. Thank you everyone for working uh, well together. I want to introduce ordinance 492.2024, salary ordinance. Um, I have a question on this. Jen, can you just clarify something for me? Um, I know we had a brief conversation about it. Um, so something about chief financial officer, and then there was the, the I guess, CFO. No, I'm talking about so the chief financial officer. Were we increasing? I'm um, just just the range, just the range. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I wanted. Not I know there was a brief aside about it a couple of days ago, and I didn't quite grasp. Okay, I make a motion to introduce ordinance number 492.2024, the salary ordinance. Have a second. Second. Uh, before the vote, just based on Ms. Nelson's question, I will say everyone's lost of these. Salary ordinances are set in ranges, and of course, we typically do a uh, cost of living and or other <coughs> increase annually. So sometimes they do compound out of what the salary range is, so then they get you know reset every once in a while. So I would say there's nothing, there's nothing in particular, no um, in particular individual raises. It's just as as those ranges go, we we have to adjust. It's like the market market value. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, roll call, please. Key. Yes. Kenny? Yes. Lindsay? Yes. Nelson? Yes. New York? Yes. And that also will be a public hearing scheduled for April 18, 2024. Uh, in your packet, there's a request letter for discussions request to, to permit alcohol at the park pavilion during graduation event on July 13, 2024. I'll make a motion to. Uh... Open the discussion regarding that request. Do I have a second? No, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, take a minute to review your questions. It's okay to me. I got a question. Um, can we make any money on letting him have alcohol at all or just convenience? No, it's just an approval. We all don't usually allow alcohol to park. Okay. If we wanted to be able to do maybe say hey, on a chart of fate, it's something in the ordinance. We have to change the ordinance, but we can do that. You don't post a town anything, right? No. Like they don't have sure. to submit anything for any alcohol beverages? No, they just submit that they have insurance to us and we name as a certificate holder in addition to Right. We don't do anything additional other than to receive that. 
Any motion to close discussion? I'll make that motion. There's a second. Second. A motion to approve the request to permit alcohol to Parker Williams during a graduation event July 13, 2024. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Okay. Aye. 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 One abstention. <clears throat> Report of council attorney. Well, two things from Mr. O'Brien. He is saying that there's no tax appeals have been filed up to date, and the Colbertson environmental investigation is on tomorrow as there is a fully signed contract. So, that's all I have. Thank you. Just clarify that's a phase one for the Colbertson property, because the one that was submitted uh, was deemed to be uh, too old to use. We had one at the last minute. Report of health and safety coordinator, Mr. Lenzi. Um, I think at this time, um, the defibrillator is back in the park, as you say, it's a different time. We had taken out because it was going to go colder for a while. So I asked um, Jeff and he said he put it back in. But then that way, nothing going on, I reached out to uh, our, our insurance and her back in the future. I said it for the first meeting here. <laughs> Thank you. Report of finance coordinator, myself and Mr. Kenny. Uh, just again, uh, we acknowledge everyone for the work on the budget and uh, our next steps, even though we're out of budget season, we have a, a few discussions uh, regarding open space for this year and we should continue to have our discussions in preparation for next year uh, regarding our capital budget as well as our volunteer fire and EMS and how best to uh, continue to support them. Uh, we've already managed to coordinate everyone's thoughts. Well, I know in our meeting on Monday, we're going to be going over the um, accessory building finances. Uh, I know there's going to be some changes there, and we also know that there might be some things coming down from the state on that. We talked about that in previous meetings. Um, I, I guess it's okay to announce here. Sure. Um, our planner has decided to move on. Um, yeah, I, I, I see the reaction. I kind of had the same one. Um, that's okay. Um, she has good reasons. Um, I did have a conversation with Susan Rule over the weekend. Susan Rule is one of the senior partners of Higher Rule, our planning. Um, I've also talked with Monica, our planning board secretary, as, as well as brief conversation with our planning board chair um, to get a transition plan in place, On the, especially if you know the master plan is coming up. Public comment is scheduled for April 8th. Right now, the board, I don't want to speak too much for the board. I mean, I have been a longstanding board member, but right now I'm a committee liaison, so I don't want to speak too much for the board. I just know preliminarily there are plans already in action uh, for transition. Um, like I said, I had a lengthy conversation with Susan on Saturday morning. Um, what we, we are still proceeding right now with public comment. I have seen no uh, postponement of that from the April 8th meeting for public comment on the master plan. It should be up on the website. Uh, and we will have somebody um, in place because I know there's going to be some conference calls going on over the next couple of weeks to bring a, a transition person in place, whether that person ends up being our personal, uh, an appointed, board appointed planner going forward or not. I don't know. I don't want to speculate too much on the board's actions. Um, but that's the update right now. When's it right? The planner's leaving like ASAP? Monday it was her last time. Okay. So right now we like I said the senior partner is available to us as well as she had two people in mind, one that she thought would be a 90% uh transitionary planner for us so that we won't be without some kind of contact. Yeah, thank okay. you. I would say uh, we talked about volunteers, but the planners in the state of New Jersey are almost at the same crisis level. So uh, they're definitely difficult to find in general. So uh, continue to uh, work with the planner on the behalf for now. I report to governing body members, uh, Mr. Kenny. And nothing specific to report other than to say I want to thank again the DPW who was out and they uh, took care of some pretty good potholes that were in districts in the neighborhoods that were around. And I, I saw them out working in my capital. 
required and safe. I know it's on temporary, we have, now we have the schedule of what we work through, but they did some good work. And just wanted to thank that and make sure that people know that they're out right there every day to do work. Like, they we got some small ones, there's two small ones here in my room. Yeah. They, just, they were doing a good job, so thank you for acknowledging that. Mr. Lenti. Um, I will too much. This whole question from the gen. Um, I'll pull it. Maybe you guys might know. So, we got something from, I got some information from the state in regards to health care insurance at the state level that the Aetna is joining now, mm -hmm. coming on April 1st, <clears throat> uh, over the moment this year. So, we have two of them. Mm -hmm. And then the other is prepare for another double digit increase next year. Now. That's what we get. We had goal was from the state level down to the local level, as far as the state funded plans. I feel like that bank support. Mm -hmm. So I'm just throwing that out there. We just resolved this budget and uh, mm -hmm. I think we thought about it. So you can still call this a small town and find alternatives to the state plan. I'm just calling them every day. They don't call. Yeah, it's April 1st, so it ends in some major development. So maybe they're looking at balance of the each other. Ah, thank you. It's good information. Mr. Keefe. Uh, all quiet. I just have one litigation for executive session. Ms. Lawson. Uh, I just want to know that uh, everybody didn't know because I'm sort of the, com the committee member in charge of community affairs. Um, we've been working diligently over the, over the winter on the heritage market. Um, we have all of the food trucks, including my favorite cousin's Maine lobster. Which I'm really looking forward to. That's on July 17th. Huh? July 17th. <laughs> and all of the music has been procured, as well as a lot of the returning vendors and some new vendors that will be joining us, which is very exciting. So, and we've also been started a, a few weeks earlier, last, uh, right before uh, Memorial Day. Oh, excited. Yes, very. You want me to see if I can get a sign board again? Yes, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, because unfortunately, we're keeping most of the same banners and stuff that we really can't afford to replace. If, if you can, just send me the day's information. Yeah, I'll get the exact what, we'll list. Have sign yeah. yeah, yeah. It's still going to be Wednesdays, 4.30 to sunset. Okay. okay. That's all. That's what I said. Wednesday? Did I say something? Wednesdays, Thursday, Wednesday. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Jen, I heard Thursdays. Did I? I heard Wednesday. Really good. Wednesdays. Chris, I want him on Thursday. Oh my God! This is a videotape. Yes. Oh, we want. I have nothing to do. Yeah, we report it down to the administrator. Um, I spoke with um, Project Linus that so we don't have at the yes. last meeting about them moving out of the cemetery. Um, she brought it to her meeting. Um, the ladies do not want to do the cemetery. They're um, for the potential of them getting poison ivy. They're going to be pulling meat and whatnot, so they don't want to be in there doing that. Um, but they said thank you for the offer and the you know the chance to do something. But they. Um, there are Warren County, Hunter County, so they'll just go to another municipality and see if there's another opportunity. Uh, we'll give them a mind to this other appropriate project with that information. Okay. Um, and then for animal licensing, we are Tuesdays for animal licensing. It was Wednesday prior, so I'll um, let Lou know to change those hours. And um, I have one executive contract. Thank you, Board of Mayor. Uh, we'll start with the uh, unpleasant news and then move on to maybe more unpleasant things. But as some have seen, uh, the affordable housing legislation for the next round was passed and signed by the governor yesterday. So, uh, A4 uh, reforms municipal responsibilities concerning provision of affordable housing. It abolishes COA, appropriate $16 million. Uh, some of the highlights uh, of this. Um, are the Council on Affordable Housing is now abolished. Its duties and functions will be split between the Department of Consumer Affairs 
and the administrative office of the courts. The DCA will run the numbers using the methodology within the bill and the newly established affordable housing dispute resolution program within the AOC handles any dispute. So theoretically, it's a um, no longer in the court, it's overseen by the courts, so and DCA will establish a number. If we choose to challenge it, if we go through a uh, court supervised process. Uh, again, explain to me, theoretically, you wouldn't even need an attorney. I doubt we would ever show up without an attorney, but uh, then it's supposed to be less onerous and less costly for the municipality. So it's supposed to be a win for us because of the lower cost when we challenge. The DCA is also tasked with calculating regional need and municipal, uh, and municipal present and proactive obligations in accordance with the methodology outlined in the legislation with reference to the methodologies and data sets within the March 8th 2015 unpublished decision from the Superior Court. The number calculated by the DCA is advisory and each municipality must set its own obligation number using the DCA number as a basis using the same methodology. We all are assigned a base number. I don't have our exact number. I believe it's around 105 currently, uh, but uh, for additional affordable housing units, but I can't say that that's the official number. So we'll, we'll be looking into that. And then we have discussions about why that may or may not be suitable for our municipality and present at the DCA. Each municipality must adopt its round four fair share obligation number through a binding resolution by January 31st, 2025. So less than a year away and the availability of bonus credits has been expanded compared to the bills introduced in the last legislative session, but remain capped. Uh, so, uh, so you talk about um, group homes uh, providing accessibility for uh, yeah, potentially disabled, but we'll still get a two for one credit. There's other credits that have been added. And also the set-asides have been um, increased. So you can do a 30% age-restricted set-aside. Um, we had asked for an age-restricted set-aside for our own residents, trying to make things more affordable for those who want to stay in our township. But um, theoretically, that's why the set-aside for age was even increased. Uh, I'll be reaching out to Highlands to ask for some guidance with, about how this applies uh, best to uh, municipalities within the, within the Highlands region. But again, this was just signed by the governor yesterday. Uh, I've obviously been uh, involved, but in getting the details of what this means now, it's going to officially approved uh, is going beyond that. What was the date on the final? January 31st, 2025. Less than here. Yeah, no, what can you change the first I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Then I guess part so I gotta get done here. Well, I think the uh ground four officially begins in January. No, no, I don't know. I know. So I don't think part of things yet. I'm assuming there may be some extensions because it's New Jersey and affordable housing. So anyway, that, that that's uh, something that'll be ongoing this year and, and we'll probably play into our accessory discussion on Monday a little bit. So I'm sure our municipal plan board attorney, um, I know she has been very active as well with the affordable housing legislation will be helping us there. Uh, on the more fun things, um, Sunday, there is an egg hunt in Heritage Park. I believe that's a term, I believe it's two o'clock. <coughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely. Well, I originally posted that Saturday. I'm looking for a time, but it is it is Sunday. I fart. Uh, if you do have children or grandchildren or anybody you're bringing to participate, uh, get there on time because the eggs are gone within seconds. <laughs> Mr. Kenny and I tried last year. We got not the kids took them all before we even got out of the field. I heard the kids tricked it again. I did. I was well, I, I, I may have, I may have tricked. But it, it's a fun event. We want to thank our recreation booster club for doing that. And also to thank uh, Pat and Berg Rescue Squad for uh, participating in and organizing that. And uh, and they bring the, the bunny and the ambulance to uh, participate. So it's a fun event. And then the, the last thing is um, our newsletter um, is currently scheduled to be mailed out April 15th. Uh, talking about the heritage market. We're trying to make the newsletter a little bit more fun and more interactive. So we have three uh, artists, two, uh, all three have actually participated in the heritage market. Two are, are active in the planning of the market. One has just been a vendor occasionally. Uh, and we'll try to feature some, I think Bethlehem Township has some really 
uh, I say interesting and unique residents who do a lot of different things. And so we did a great career with our local art, but there are uh, photographers, there's musicians, there's a, a lot of um, talent and, and a lot of uh, interesting uh, passions in this town. So we're hoping to feature some of those residents. Uh, plus our usual information that's getting out on time this year for elections and other information that's to be there uh, as well. And that is it for my update. I have nothing else to add for executive session based on the two that are submitted. Open for motion for public comment. Motion to open public comment. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bunch of things. So if you want me to stop and let other people go if my three minutes are up or whatever, just let me know. Thank you. I'm mean, all over the place. Uh, the, so Elliot, re regarding the uh, A4 passage, Elliot Ruka from the Highlands uh, Coalition had written a letter and uh, summarized it because they were upset originally how it was formed, but they the bill was amended and it included, and this is, I'm going to quote him, for conform municipalities in the Highlands planning area, environmentally sensitive areas as provided in the regional master plan, would, would be excluded from the vacant lot lands analysis. So that's a good thing. And that municipal fair share housing obligations for conform municipalities, the number of units, both market rate and affordable, would not exceed the number of units determined by the Highlands Council's latest municipal build that report. So I think we do have, now that the Highlands Council is, I think it's gonna be okay for us, like, I think. <laughs> And that there's more grant monies if we do get sued for builders' remedies. So that's what I'm hoping. Theoretically, but, we're in the, hopefully, if we're, we're in the dispute process, too. We just still protections. Yeah. For builders' remedy. Uh, and the vacant land was actually ended up in the bill statewide. So that, that helped bring numbers down for everybody. Oh, everybody. Oh, okay. Okay. I did. I that's don't. Fine. There were, it's always tough to say affordable housing is a victory for municipalities. The, the four points I read were what we would consider the victories for the municipalities. Uh, okay, well, I was just reading what I, I didn't read the bill. I can't say I read the bill, but I just read his letter. <laughs> and I was going to bring it up, so I'm glad you did. Uh, regarding the planner, um, a couple questions. So there have been, I, I got a name of a planner. I don't, I don't think she's available, but she's like affordable housing expert. Darlene Green from Collier Engineering. I don't know if she'd want to work for us, but she's like a affordable yeah. housing expert. And she her her uh, business is right down here. I would contact one of them. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, she might not be interested at yeah, all. Well, but I'm always so she, I don't think she's available for the master plan because she said she's busy with all these lawsuits from the <laughs> affordable housing. And the Highlands Council is one of her clients, but maybe after that, I'm, yeah, you know, can't hurt. We're always because we're going to need to appoint somebody, and I, I don't know. I think it was mid-year how that works. But, to yeah, that's the, the, the firm is who we appoint, not yeah, the planner. I, but right. I would still have her contact Monica, and I'll let Monica know as, as the chair. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, it's it's not like you can't change firms, right? I right. mean, they we've now gone through two planners from their firm. Right, no, I understand. I just, uh, it's it's their appointments. So, yeah, I understand. You know, if you're there on Monday night too, I would also, if okay. you're coming to the meeting on Monday, I'll try to appropriate. Yeah. Okay. If not, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that we talk to them about it. Okay. So um, the monies that you said that went to uh, Megan Stanley for the master plan, it, it went already. Wasn't what she was getting paid for writing up the draft and making changes to the revisions from the public, the planning board, and the Highlands Council? Like, it didn't that fee include all of that? And now she's going to be gone? Like, how does that work? I mean, the, the contract with the firm, so the firm ah. fulfills those obligations. So whether uh, this is unfortunately our ah. third planner from the same firm. Third, third I think, second, okay. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, that may be over the last year, this year, but the, uh, the, the senior partner has stepped in and taken over some of that work in between. I don't know who it's out there assigning the senior planner to, to us. She said at least for master plan, it would be a senior planner, okay. not a junior planner. Okay, but but it's to the firm, not to her. Firm. That makes sense. Right. Because <laughs> otherwise it'd be like, huh? I mean, I, it's just unfortunate because we got public comment coming yes, from the Yes, exactly. And we really don't want to postpone that. Yeah, I hear you. And she knows, she theoretically knows the document because she wrote it. Right. So. <laughs> and 
And she's heard our plan board comment, public's comment. Anyway, okay. Okay, then uh, two more things, thank you. Um, sorry, um, uh, was the Highland, uh, Highlands Council, uh, did we get a permanent liaison yet? No. Still? I haven't, uh, I don't have the name of the temporary, there's two temporary contacts, but we, we have not had a permanent assigned to us anymore. Okay. Someone had said to me that they thought we already did have If one. they did, they haven't reached out. I can certainly reach out. Okay, maybe have that for the planning board. Yeah. I think it would be useful, especially this time of reviewing everything. Thank you. Um, the, the alcohol permit, just want to say that the last time, um, what, I forgot his name, Mr. Foster was here asking for an alcohol permit. You said, you know, you had some criteria that has to be under the pavilion and all that. I think you should say the same thing to this app of this person who wants to Yeah, it says uh, we have been informed the alcohol can only be in the pavilion. Okay. I'm just saying because he was here and I remember you discussing it. I didn't know. There's a cover letter. Okay. Uh, as long as he <laughs> adheres to the rules that you gave to the other person. Yes. But thank you for um uh two more things, sorry. Yeah. Um <laughs> I, sorry. I I okay. I said I could have sat down. But, Okay, so for else is raising <laughs> the Environmental Commission, um, Jose Rejas had sent Paul Muir and I think we were on it about the CEPG program year three application for the Sustainable New Jersey Community Energy Plan. We had a meeting last night and I told him I'd come and ask if there's any updates to that. I haven't had a chance to review it. I'm not familiar, but I haven't had a chance to review it. Because the date's going to be coming up soon. It's May something or other. I think it'll go over the weekend at the latest. Okay. Likely tomorrow afternoon. Okay. I told him I'd bring it up. So I am bringing it up. Just, it is May. It just, we have to make sure yeah, we get I'll, it. I'll, I'll see what I'm saying. I'm not going to make sure I have it done. Yeah, I'll review it before Monday. Oh, I'm writing that down. Not review it. Will month by Monday. Holding it to that. I'm holding it to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one last thing. Uh, the um, construction at Jotown, so to put in the tower that I don't agree with. So I did reach out to Bill Millay again, asking, uh, basically, I let me all go to him. Basically, who's going to be monitoring during the construction to make sure that the vernal ponds aren't impacted, that it is a historic historical site now because of the sign and the mines there that they're not impacted. That um, and then the one naturalist told me that they're going to be widening the road double width to make, be able to fit the construction uh, big machines going through, and and it's going to lessen that parking lot by quite a bit. And I have seen some, sometimes they have hiking groups and the dogs that they go out for rescue. There could be 20 cars there at one time. But, and uh, so the naturalist suggested that the town can monitor. Uh, he suggested maybe uh, the environmental commission. Um, I don't know if you want to do something. Bill Millay did give me the name of um, who we're supposed to, the project manager at VCOM Engineering. I don't know if you want me to forward this or somebody, or DPW can do it, or how do you want to do it? I, my, my initial thought was DPW, because then at least they're, uh, the environmental person is not official, but DPW is right. official and right. covered from insurance and everything else. So, uh, but if you forward that to me, that way they, they had a copy uh, Jen on there as well. And we'll make sure that our supervisor uh, does so the periodic checks. Yeah, I, I mean, my big concern is the environmental, and I don't think they're going to impact the trail because that's on a, I don't think it's in that same vicinity, but really the environment that our taxpayer dollars preserve, spent, spent to preserve. So I know sometimes Carl does um, do what I ask so by saving a little native bush in the field sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how familiar he is with or his staff with the vernal ponds or the trees or but he can always talk to the environmental commission and well, like I said, but I'd probably just have him make the checks and then give a report to the environmental commission or ask for guidance if he needs it. 
Uh, you know, I do take this seriously. I think I think we're in the concession that I think is needed for the tower. Um, but with that, I want to make sure that we have the protections in place. Yeah, I, 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 he does have to work through this project manager because safety concerns. Yes. But okay. We don't have the contact information. We can maybe set up a regular schedule. Right, exactly, exactly. And I'm going to be going through there on weekends to work on the trail, but I. Probably won't be able to park in the parking lot, but I'll park on my road and then come in the trail. You know, so I it's it it the trail touches the other side of the parking lot just by a little bit. So I will do that too, and I can always report back what I see. Yeah, she's always inappropriate. Yeah, I, I mean, I can do that too, just as an unofficial. Here's what I've observed from a citizen point of view, trail maintainer. Yeah, we appreciate it. Okay. All right, that was it. Thank you. Carolyn Manor Office, one or two block row. I just have two questions. One is, where are we at in the Leap Farm House? Nowhere. Nowhere. All things may have done. Well, I'm just concerned we're having parties down the park now. We have a lot of new faces coming in. Could be. I'm just worrying about people going into that place. That's what I was thinking about. Well, the house itself is, unless you've got a program, you can't get into the house. Um, people going back into the property, I don't, I don't really know how we in, enforce that, as, especially at night. Right. Um, I'm just concerned about going that house. Even if the house wasn't there, it's, uh, it's, it's fenced, but it's, yeah. it's okay. fenced. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's greatly fenced, but. So if that ain't happening, when will that decision make? To take it down? Yes. I have no idea at this point, John. I don't know. I, 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 there'd be a lot, even to take it down, as you know, with this asbestos removal, there'll be a lot that we would have to consider in, in terms of taking that down. So, um, have we had anybody in there and give estimates on the asbestos yet or no? No, I have not because I didn't know what we were going to do with it. I have not done anything at that point. Okay. The other question, I don't know if it can, I should ask you or ask the state, a block 34, lot 12. I've been watching the tractor trailers going in and out on 173 there. And when they're coming westbound, they come out to the middle turning lane because that's on an angle for them to get in there. So they take up three lanes to get in, okay? Which somebody's not paying attention will run underneath the trailer. I'm just asking you, if that can then use and gets larger, can you make them pull a, a slow lane in so they can turn in there? Can you ask the owner to do that? And the same as oncoming, when you come out to go up the hill, you know, they get going to the hill and they're starting out no gear at all and going slow. There okay. should be something done there. That's on the downside. <clears throat> Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? I think that that property um, is going to have to come for a site plan review. If anything gets done, we, that could be the part of the stuff. All right. Yeah, because it's pretty dangerous. You see the tire marks coming out there. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Any public comment? Any public comment online? Okay, motion to close public comment. Any motion to close public comment? So, in favor? Aye. 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 This is the end of your executive session for one contract and one litigation. Uh, there will be no action taken on uh, item one to the uh, public. So the motion is going to be executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.